Poems to Mary Helen The Passing of Mary Helen Mary Helen See how she bears the burden of our age in peaceful trust as the cancer multiplies, a focused will upon her Lord and Sage, a steadfast prayer no force or fate denies. This shining soul exemplifies a life of quiet dignity to persevere, unshakable trust in grace, a heart free of strife, her love all-encompassing, drawing the Blessed One near. The Greater Realms of Light I have loved thee since the morning of the world, when first thou passed a vision draped in blue. I saw the boon of heaven's joy unfurled, and in a single moment's dawning knew that we as spirits joined would travel far and journey toward the greater realms of light together Yet alone, the bright day star, companion of our swift and Godward flight. The days on rapid wings up buoyed have flown, and now we face the fate of karmic years and former births through which our souls have grown. Too close our hearts to suffer human tears. Each moment we must drink as nectar sweet. What future pain or bliss shall yet attend? Our souls are strong to kneel before their feet. In her is our beginning and our end. A Continuum of Light I wandered in an old familiar place above the lake where arm in arm we stood. A glowing ruby on an emerald base was burning in the deeply fragrant wood. Pale the beams that filtered through the trees, the leaves of autumn thick beneath my feet, and from the north a chill and welcome breeze carried a fragrance wonderful and sweet. Perhaps her soul among the iris dwelt, or lingered in the lilac's scented breast. How cruel a blow uncaring death had dealt, for in my heart there was not peace nor rest. Now grief, the uninvited visitor, had taken up his residence in me. No joy could be as it was once before, when as one soul bound by alchemy, we walked upon life's path of golden rays, welcomed spring with all her retinue, oblivious to the autumn of our days and in our final winter hours knew that for those souls who love there is no night 
and we became a continuum of light. The miracle of you. Tell me, beloved, whence thy beauty springs. It is not born from earthly dust, I fear. For in your voice celestial music brings diviner sounds than those on earth we hear. Your wind-blown tresses billow in the breeze as gentle waves are lifted by the wind. And in your cheeks, a rose eternally blossoms, and your eyes with shadow limbed engulf my heart. And almost now it seems the beneficiary of second sight am I, or from another world of dreams I glimpse thee golden in a golden light. O oh, sweetest soul, you filled my world with bliss, and in your silence I in silence grew. You left me with a last eternal kiss to venerate the miracle of you. Kingdom of the Blessed It seemed the morning of the world anew when first I saw a vision draped in blue moving as the sun behind stained glass kaleidoscoped the room with golden hue. And in that sacred moment my soul knew a truth afforded to a very few that I had found as in a mirrored glass my comrade star with whom I would pursue through all eternity the spirit's quest. And never would our mission fail or rest for God had married us at his behest to help found on earth the kingdom of the blessed. Dawn of God's Delight A greater sorrow falls upon my days than I have known when faith was still a spark. My spirit in a suffocating box cries out against the voices of the dark and all the incongruity of death. Memories that open two deep wounds like razors slicing through the flesh to soul. For grief, in all its violence, surrounds each thought, consumes the mind, the waking hours, fills with turbulence and silent tears. I move a dumb automaton of pain, facing the futile emptiness of years, bereft of the beloved by whose side all life revealed a poetry divine and music flowed a channel pure of love. In dual aspiration held the sign and symbol of a new awakening. So rare this gift of soul's reply to soul the harmony that charges offering of self unfolds the vision and the goal. This deep aloneness into which is cast the body of my song, the future's dreams, held in abeyance now, 
until the force shall break night's iron hold, and cleansing streams of light and grace shall on my being fall. And from the pit I'll rise on wings of light, aware that love victorious shall reign and break into the dawn of God's delight. Soul new formed. She walks no more in beauty by my side, as in the days when autumn's colors flew. Through all the seasons of her life denied no lovely thing its place, and in the few and faltering moments when the cancer grew, consuming flesh. Still she smiled through pain, for in her spirit's secret heart she knew that love would last and joy be ours again. For death, the temporal God gives us release from bodies worn that soul itself renew recharged in strength, return from realms of peace, new formed in light and robed in golden hue. Oak tree dying and one who left. The bare oak stands a sentinel of grief. Its leafless limbs afford no shade or rest. Stark and black, devoid of greening leaf, where no bird lives or builds its happy nest. Death is a mighty shell shock for the soul, left behind to wander through life alone. A deadening, nescient numbness is paltry dole as fades the image of the beloved one. The winter of our sorrow cannot remain, for life in us is strong. We shall survive the nights of sadness lingering, the pain of loss. We shall not fail to keep alive The dream that brought two spirits ever close. There is an aid sustaining from above. Some see him as the lily, some the rose. His name is known, his gift divine love. Disciple of the Dual Avatars We lived in light and knew our lives embraced by that for which there is no face or name. Our way secure, our souls most gently placed before her feet, a birthright to reclaim. Dynamic years when the grace of God was felt in common acts and love in simple things. When I before the living presence knelt to seek the calm that inner progress brings. As cancer spread its pale malignant flowers I prayed that she might once again be well. We lived in love, by love, and joy was ours. Heroic, her body fronted living hell. 
no lethal shadow thrown by fate or chance. No cloud could cross the heavens of our bliss. Eternity in a passing glance we knew and rapture in a moment's kiss. I know she now abides within their arms, not lost in an eternity of stars, nor facing inner perils, occult harms, disciple of the dual avatars. Undying love. All that I was before and yet shall be, I give to you, beloved of the stars. How many seas remind me of your eyes, how many islands refuge in your arms. And when upon your breast my thinking slept, the deeper sleep of calm and passionless, as you prepared to leave this too brief life. My tears fell silently in my distress. This earthly soul now walks in forests lone, speaks poetry to flowers, and receives the blessings of the winds who kiss these eyes, remembering we never must look back. And yet, and yet, the poignant moments come, like friends long gone who come to stay a while, renewing friendship's bonds and old delights. But I am called, a voice from distant shores sings in my heart, and a new music comes of griefless skies and joy upon the wing. Undying love is stamped upon my soul. A dual consecration of the heart. Look down. O oh, lovely spirit from the heights, and on this troubled head thy blessing give. My soul now wanders lonely through the nights, and in a cruel and sudden void I live. Knowing thou art free, still I grieve, for mornings we shall never see again. Yet hold thy smile secure within. Believe when light and truth shall be the earth's domain. All human sorrows end, all joys renew. The union of two souls no force can part. The secret known only to a few. A dual consecration of the heart. Time shall not lessen. Time shall not lessen, nor the grave deny the love that bloomed a fire in my heart. When first I saw you through the painted glass, the colored rays that sought your radiance, and all my soul went suddenly out of me as light filled all in that vast corridor. I knew perfection as a dream of God, come down in silence through the whirling stars. So often, I return in lonely hours to your fragrance held 
as in a diamond vial, protected from the poison of the world. Your eyes that drew me into mystic depths, your care that soothed the sorrow of my soul, your love that even gods cannot transcend. The mind is faithless, but the heart is pure, not given to the vagaries of form. Immortal you were then, immortal now. Immortal, my remembrance of your song. The fires of dawn. She is gone, her body ashes in the sea. But not for me this brief candle of life, blown out before it joyously could yield. Its full and perfumed offering of soul. I know beyond my knowing she is here. And all my sorrow, difficult to bear. For one who is not dead, but silently stands a guardian presence at my side. She is aware of all my weaknesses and loans her strength that I might overcome the loneliness and emptiness I feel. When in my dreams I see her features steal across the fleeting visions of the night, I lie awake and think what might have been the loveliness of moments without speech and love unchanging in a changing world. I shall not let the sacred visions fade Eternity, my inner being, wills. For one is there who shoulders all our grief and carries us to light the fires of dawn. Mary Helen, soul of light. What star aloft could represent her soul that brighter shines than heaven's galaxies, whose orbit trails the mother's diamond light in joyous wake upon God's timeless seas? What planet, moon, or nebula would turn from her brightening smile embracing time and space, herself of calm and poise of settled bliss, or dare refute those burning orbs of grace that look on life with heaven's tenderness and symbolize the spirit's dateless quest. In her, the truth of womanhood affirmed Beloved one, blessed among the blessed. When you and I were one, I have seen the rose in the morning perfuming drops of dew, yet hold a thought in the evening, the memory of you. I have walked in the dust of the desert and over forgotten land, yet hold to a thought in the gloaming that once I held your hand. I have tasted the fruit of the autumn, redolent of sun, yet hold a thought of the springtime when you and I
Beloved Mary Helen, a gift that asked no measure of return, a joy that shared its vision of the all, a heart that ever widened out to learn the meaning of our birth, the spirit's fall from spheres of light to sleep in ignorance and take up forms for growth that soon grow old. A truth she held, though hidden as in trance, a tale of God too early to be told. Through beauty's dress, I glimpsed her soul of light and calm that carried me on crests of peace to grace my days and fill them with delight till from this earth her spirit took release. I know through faith that still she blesses me and those around who lived within her smile, the mother's child, a force of purity, who shed on earth her dream of love a while. Years after the passing of Mary Helen, eyes dimmed by death that once all life embraced, mute the voice that spoke of beauty's reign, a vibrant heart by the dark shade now stilled, her soul released to soar beyond the pain Earth visits on the children of the light. The rhythms of the dance lived in her limbs, her path an ordered march to worlds divine, a music like the strophes of choral hymns I heard in the pulsing rapture of her heart. The brilliance of the golden summer skies, peony on bursting peony, could not surpass the luster of her eyes. The humble dogwood clothed in clouds of white, the nodding columbine's etheric blue, the pansy's sweet expression of delight, lilies fragrancing the morning dew, recall a living dream from measureless time. In the shadows, where the mosses cover stone, beneath the colored leaves of autumn trees, I hold her ever close, though most alone. To Mary Helen, Now I am calm in silent depths of mind and harvest joy in roughened, thankful hands as autumn comes and our gardens find the mother's imprint on these sacred lands. By the still lake, reflecting on life's events, the years of our seeking pass slowly in pensive mood. A smile wells up as I inhale the sense blossoming on a branch of gratitude. So many years upon the wheel of time, weaving the wondrous patterns of the world, together we faced the great and arduous climb how beautifully, as comrade souls, we toiled. Descending bliss is close, I hear the rush of orient wings pressing towards our earth, and in my heart 
a voice of rapture sings of Godhead's crown and superhuman earth. Song Ethereal In this song ethereal, I felt thy soul ascending, blazing a luminous golden trail, thy love and light unending. Such beauty unseen resides in us, and joy we hardly know. A subtle, unknown nucleus calls us to forego all transient care and find the source of joy eluding thought, the rapture free of heart's remorse, in godlike moments caught. Our soul's delight. And suddenly I saw you standing there, as through the stained glass windows slanted light fell on your sorry, wove of heaven's blue, and in a moment's dawning glance I knew that in this troubled world there lived delight, an unspoiled joy, which both our souls would share as we together in consecration moved through the seasons of the earth so deeply loved and labored in a strange and distant air bounteous and beautiful and bright, and grew aware, half consciously at first, of Godhead's call and spirit's heightened thirst. Though from the body's pain your soul has flown, and carried with it something of my own, no human grief or temporal despair can vanquish her who is our soul's delight. The Songs of Angels Welcoming I saw, as on a cinematic screen, the papyrus of all our life unroll. Revealed was beauty to the eyes unseen and the never-ending vistas of the soul. Floating through dreams as on a buoyant sea, unteared your face, unstained its radiance, a glow attuned to unearthly harmony and plenitudes exceeding sight and sense. Then pain, the dark companion, came in sleep. And with him came the breaking of my heart, for death into your weeping cells did seep. I know not why such beauty must depart. Our life of bliss lay shattered in a day, when hope had fled to chasm depths unknown to all except the witness of the way. But through your body's plight, our souls had grown. And the flowers of spring, frozen in earth's embrace, shall surely wake again to blossoming. You shall return, I'll look upon your face, and hear the songs of angels welcome. The Golden Reins of Consciousness When our days were young and you and I were free O oh, my beloved with the sunlit smile whose eyes like pools of lapis lazuli my image held as in a crystal vial my soul was wrapped in beauty's ways by love 
surrounded by the peace of happy years, as the brightening threads of our morning marriage wove a tapestry of life unstained by tears, and moments of divine awakenings, a visionary dreamscape of the real that hides itself behind apparent things, our nuptial vow and inner spirit seal. Then, slowly, as the star-swept evening yields to the richly colored wedding of the morn, you left these beautiful but troubled fields and the sacred body so serenely worn. Exempt from our travail and freed from pain, you lie encased in folds of spirit peace. A day will come, your soul called once again. The golden rains of consciousness shall cease. Descend to earth in raiment of the blessed, the golden gods surrounding thee with songs, and all thy being a divine bequest, a grace for which earth desperately longs. I will remember you. At night I will remember you when calm descends in solitude or the wakeful eye of new morn burns and life from dreamlike sleep returns. When winter lays his icy hands upon the drowsy breast of earth and silence nears and all is still in moonlight or in sudden chill. When spring, apparelled in leafy dress, no more the bareness of branch and twig, colors with his wand the world, and bulbs in glory burst unfurled. When joy returns with songbird call, and melting rivulets like tears, this newborn world invigorate, again on you I'll meditate. For have we not, through these brief years, the bliss of every season known, refound the light known far above, one with beauty, one in love? Flowered Paths of Light We walked among the vast cathedral trees, exulting in the warm and languorous day, aware of fragile moments such as these, when winter holds the world within its sway. We watched the willow's green exuberance, the early iris thrusting through the soil, and wondered at the wizardry of chance that moves with us through birth and death and toil. We wandered upon ways we hardly knew, mid sleeping ferns and lively daffodils. And though our days remaining might be few, a concentrated joy our being fills. For we have loved and we have lived, and more, have trod these flowered paths of light before. When transformation flowers fell, I remembered thee in morning light when transformation flowers fell, and in the bay of Bengal's night, whose eternal waters 
rise and swell in waves entranced by moon delight that break upon these timeless shores. I mark thee in the songbird's flight and shared with earth her deep remorse. When beauty fled the anguished soil that felt no more a well-loved tread, or gentle hands of cheerful toil were on thy gracious presence shed. Though heaven's arms around thee close, I hold thee in the perfumed rose.